I didn't know. I didn't know that you were particularly ever political, were you? I don't recall in your career that well, you... Well, I'm really political, but I'm not... Where we know I'm about not overt, it. Yet. I'm yeah. not, uh, not marching, and I'm not always, you know, um, grabbing a microphone. But to say I'm not passionate about what's mm -hmm. going on or what has gone on in the past is, would just be, uh, you know, un untrue. So you've, you've been out there. We just didn't know about it. I have one of those. I have one of you at home, by the way, an 11 year old oh, yeah. that runs our house very similar, not quite as bad as you were running that house, but I really related to the movie through you. Uh, my little 11 year old is at camp right now. Oh, and, really? Uh, that sounds and, So you're going to take her to see the movie? No, she, she had to go to camp yesterday, but she'll see it. I'll definitely take her to see yeah. the movie because she'll even be worse, more in charge. <laughs> she is smarter than all of us. Anyway, uh, for you, I mean, it, was, it must have been an interesting. How did you guys bond? What was your procedure before the movie started to. Well, we, I, number one, I was so thankful that Madeline came along because I didn't know where we were going to find this actress because mm -hmm. so much was going to be asked of her uh, to not only act, but all the emotions mm -hmm. that would go with that and, and to be a good partner. And we got so lucky, you know. So she was like one of these great little actors that come mm -hmm. along every so often that you know are going to be around. So uh, Madeline really came to our rescue. and. And, and part of what she understood was the rehearsal process, that what we could get done, and she had a lot of trust, and I trusted Madeline. And so all that stuff manifested itself in our kind of easiness with each other. You know, movies are kind of goofy. You don't shoot them like a play, where you're watching from the beginning to the end. Did you have to kind of jump into it in the middle of the stream, you know, being able to pull the covers off his bed and, and deal with this man that you didn't know? What do you mean, like, like, like uh... Did it just happen like that? Yeah. Or? No, well, kind of, not really. I mean, I had to be told a lot to do it because I was kind of scared. I didn't mm. want to, I was a little scared to hit him and I was a little scared to pound on the door and wake him up. But then uh, Kevin and the director and everybody was just like, don't, you're not going to hurt him. And so I did it and then it just ended up being the take, so. Oh, you were great. I mean, it didn't look like you were scared ever even just a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you not even a little bit. And it was fun to be uh, to have a smart comedy. It's a little bit of a hybrid movie, isn't it? It's uh, It's got its emotional things that you like to put in movies, and it's a good story uh, once you get into the middle of it. And this guy's a real moron, isn't he? Yeah. He's, Where did you met, meet? How did you know? How did you find this character? Well, he's a... Uh... You know, he finds himself finally, but he uh, he doesn't have the ambition. He's not a PTA dad. He's not a soccer dad. He uh, wants to fish and not against taking his daughter out of school to go fishing. <laughs> he wants his buddy. So he's an American rascal. Uh, I mean, you played a lot, and this is called acting. You know, and this is acting here. Where where did you go every day to, to come to work to become this guy? Was that a little bit of an issue? Yeah, I mean, he was... Pretty he's pretty over the top. He's a pretty the shelf guy. He's a, he, there's a lot of physical comedy in it, but mm. <laughs> we, we we found the truth of the emotion in it, and uh, he manages at a certain point to, uh, in a way, without trying to speak for all of us. I've tried to explain this movie today on the radio by saying that it's not a stupid comedy, you know, because there are stupid comedies out now, yeah. and you have to tell people it's not a stupid comedy, but it's not so in-house that it's, you know, those kind either, like a wag the dog or something political satire. It really is a story. It's a Kevin Costner movie story that you almost have to trust you. And you and people have trusted your choices over the years with your best work and that just go for the ride and go. Because it is a little hard to explain, I think, in two sentences. To yeah, somebody. it is. And, you know, we're not a, we're a movie that's better than its trailer. Mm. We're more than a trailer, you know. A lot of movies are their trailer. Mm. And so, that's right. you know, it's a journey. And what a cast. I mean, it just keeps coming up. And, I've, and I guess some of those people are the ones I laughed out loud with that people are going to have to be surprised by when they show up in the movie. And some of the commercials they do are laugh out loud. <laughs> I mean, really huge. Oh, yeah. I can't believe that kind of thing. It's the so. best kind of experience, really. It's a movie where you, you, you don't know what to expect, mm -hmm. and then you just feel good at the end of it. Great performances, though, and you were fantastic. Thank He's you. always good, but it was Thank neat to you. meet somebody for the. That's always cool to go to a movie and find somebody you've never heard of before for the first time and to see how good they are. I remember the first time I saw Dakota Fanning, I felt the same way, and I love her a lot, and you're definitely cut from the same cloth as that little girl, except maybe you're funnier, I don't know. And it's just really a fun, it's a good time to go to the movies. And political's a hot potato, tough subject. But it made me feel better about dealing with this fall, actually. So good. Good for I, you. Yeah, I think it's a fresh air. It was fresh air. Nice to meet you. I'm nice sure we'll be seeing you, you again. Good to see you again, too.